Hello my lovelies. So today I'm going to do a little run through of what's new at Kurt Geiger. I hope you enjoy. Hello, 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 and the warmest of welcome to today's video. For those of you who haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Nick, fab to have you here. Those who have seen my face before, thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you're enjoying my videos. I put out videos roughly three times a week on a range of different topics, anywhere from fashion, to like more personal topics. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do head down, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I love chatting with you all. I'm all about living life loud, and what that means to me being your authentic self, being proud to be you, and just celebrating who you are. Celebrating yourself and celebrating others. So, we're going to talk today about the newest additions to Kurt Geiger, their new collections, shoes, bags, accessories, and I'm just going to give you a quick insight into my thoughts, some of the highlight pieces for me. Do I think there's something that's worth purchasing at this moment in time? You know how I feel about Kurt Geiger as a brand if you've been here for a long time. If you haven't, I love the brand. I love what it stands for. It is fun, it is playful, but it empowers people. And I think that is so important. Very philanthropic, charitable, really peddles good causes. And I really appreciate that in a brand. I think it is incredibly important. So it's a great, great brand and customer service is great, good quality. And funnily enough, it's the brand that I probably hear the most from each of you about that you've gone on to buy something after having heard about it, which is really nice to hear. Very rarely actually an item that I own. The heart bag was a really popular one actually that I heard after having introduced someone to the brand, they then went on to buy that, um, which isn't a bag I own. It's not a bag I would own, but it's a nice piece. So I can see why, why people have done that. Um, but it's just really interesting how out of all of the brands, this is the one that everyone seems to gravitate to the most. And I love it because it is a great, great brand. And Kurt Geiger, if you're watching, collab, you know, brand, let, let's chat, okay? Anyway, let's go through some of the pieces here and let, I'll let you know what my thoughts are. So, first things first, there is a very new collection and it's a collaboration collection for Kurt Geiger. They do these from time to time. And this one is with Transport for London. Um, so it's quite a specific one. It's quite a niche one. Um, for those who don't know, TFL essentially run the transport network in London um, and the tube lines, etc. And this is very much focused on the tube lines and the colours of each of the tube lines and how they've integrated those into this particular design. So we have the kind of medium Kensington, that kind of average size Kensington, 269, um, bright, nice colours, um, not particularly my thing, but I do like the fact that it's got the TFL charm, I think that's really nice, um, silver, that's a really nice hardware. You've got the Square Shopper, this is great actually, I've looked at this shopper a few times and I really do like this version. You've got a couple of the crossbody bags, a camera bag, these are fun, they're bright, they're vibrant, they're playful. I like this a lot. I also really like how on that camera bag you've got that um, kind of envelope style piece, which I guess would be a card holder or a key pouch or something like that if you wanted to. Same thing with the um, crossbodies as well, where they've got the circular coin purse. Of course, this, is, this isn't a new design from this brand. It's not a new design from um, kind of fashion. We've seen it with the multi pochette accessoire. Um, then you've got the um, Prada version in the Prada nylon. So the this kind of multi isn't a new thing, but it's nice that they brought it out in this particular collection. Different colours, fun, playful. A couple of card holders, some SLGs. I do really recommend the Kurt Geiger SLGs. They wear really well. They're nice and bright. They're fun and they don't cost the earth, which I think is really important because SLGs tend to get a little bit of a battering. So do I, what do I think about this collection as a whole? I actually, I like it aesthetically. I think it's nice. I personally wouldn't buy anything. Although I really like that TFL Square Shopper, I wouldn't buy it. The reason being, I don't live in London. Therefore, I feel like it's me wearing an Oxford University jumper when I went to Reading University. You know, when people buy from, when people used to buy from Top Man a t-shirt that said California on it and you say, have you been to California? No, I haven't. 
Am I wearing it? Yeah, you know, that's kind of how I feel. If I lived in London, I'd probably be more inclined. Um, I think it's quite a specific and quite a niche um, collaboration. However, I do really like the fact that they are exploring a different sector. It's not fashion collabing with fashion. It is fashion collabing with transport, but not even luxury transport. I just think it's a really innovative collab. Does it resonate with me? Not so much. Can I appreciate the pieces? Yes, I can. So I spoke about the heart bag and actually they've got a really lovely leopard print one. That's really fun. I like that a lot. There's also this beautiful sequin medium. They do beautiful sequin pieces and then they mix up the hardware. So this particular one has pink hardware. I, I just love the creativity and the playfulness. If you're not going, if you're buying a bag because you only want to wear it once or twice, very limited occasions, Kurt Geiger is a really good price point, I think, to do that. And they're very standout. So you can get a huge amount of impact from them. Um, I would definitely say that. But that's really nice. You've then got another tweed here, which is really lovely with a bit of embellishment on it as well. The Bonds love these shoes. I'm debating buying a pair. I need to order some and just test them. The sales associates keep telling me they are more comfortable than they look. I can see it because of the cutout. It's that heel that bothers me, um, not because of the look of it. I just worry that it'll be too thin pressing into the sole of your heel. Um, but we'll see. I'll try them. A bit more leopard print, a bit more leopard print. Clearly leopard print's a thing. Camera bags, crossbodies. Oh, platforms. We love a platform. Sexy, sexy. So if you're looking at the, that, the very much Mary Jane platforms that we've seen with um, Versace or Valentino or Louboutin, um, then this is a version here. You've got this Shoreditch high platform, which is a peep toe. You have the Kensington platform, which is a closed toe. You've got the Piera peep toe, which is more of a sandal, but a platform sandal. That's very nice. Some fun pieces, boots, some different Kensingtons. Um, so you've got the leather Kensington in this kind of lovely rainbow leather, which is very nice with this aged gold hardware. It's very pretty. Wouldn't be for me, but it's nice. Got this marbled leather Kensington as well, which I believe is also a medium. Um, oof, hurts my eyes a little bit. I'm not a fan of that particular, that particular one. Aged gold hardware again. It's fun. It's different would probably give me a headache to look at it for too long. Ooh, I really am not in love with these patchworks. Oof, and it's, oof, no, really not in love. I just don't understand what they were doing with this color block. It's, it looks really cheap. It looks like Play-Doh almost. Um, the only saving grace is that they've used silver hardware, but really don't like it. It reminds me of the, there was a Volkswagen car in the 90s that was a special ed. Was it called the Harlequin? I'll put a photo of it. That's what this reminds me of. This is the bag equivalent of that car. And don't get me wrong, that's fun, but I don't think we need to go back there. Anyway, interesting. Got some mules. Oh my word, platform mules with fur. Faux fur. Oh, these are fun. That blue is beautiful. The pink, the blue. Oh, how fun are they? Wow. And then you've also got non-platform versions as well, but I love those platforms. That is beautiful, that blue in particular. Mwah! They have really been turning out some new designs recently, and I have I have a lot of respect for that. They're quite a creative brand, um, and they do it in their own way. Even if the style isn't necessarily brand new, they do it in their own way with their own spin. Okay, you've got the Shoreditch stilettos, which have the um, ankle strap. An ankle strap is a great thing when it comes to a high heel because it just gives you a little bit more stability than you have if the um, shoe doesn't have a strap. I personally don't really wear shoes with ankle straps, but you have to accept the fact that your foot has less um, security and um, you can slip out of the shoe a little bit more easily. Therefore, accidents can happen more readily. <laughs> Got the Belgravia pumps, just a very simple, elegant pump, very nice. This kind of colour block, Kensington, that's nice, I like the colours there, it's fun. It's much more successful than the patchwork, I believe, and the marbled effect. The mini Kensington eye, the eye is something you quite often see through the Kurt Geiger collections. They have it on shoes, starred by Gwenny recently. 
um, revealed some mules that she bought that had this eye on it. And this is kind of the bag um, equivalent of that. Multi crossbodies, trainers. I really like their trainers. I speak very highly of them for good reason. I would absolutely recommend if you're looking for kind of sneakers at a reasonable -ish price point that still feel high quality, Kurt Geiger sneakers. These sit within the men's collection. You've got this Kurt Geiger Kensington range. It's this black quilted um, leather with black hardware. And you've got a weekender, a Kensington bag, a rucksack and a backpack. So crossbody rucksack and then a backpack. Okay, apparently rucksacks and backpacks aren't the same thing. Um, but these are nice, simple, sophisticated but still I think quite impactful, quite edgy. I really like that Weekender. I'd actually like that crossbody bag as well, just a bit of a messenger bag, quite a subtle piece. It's very, very nice. Um, actually, I like that a lot. More heels, the Francis, which is a kind of embellished version, some more Kensingtons, crossbodies, phone holders, pouches, multi crossbodies. I actually really like this, um, this floral, Print. that's really lovely that's fun it's a bit different there's just a huge amount of fun that you can have with these collections and even their pieces that they've done maybe in a black leather they're quilted in a certain way or they've got a, a hardware to them or there's always something with a Kurt Geiger bag where they go for an elegant pe an elegant piece and then really bring in an element of kind of fun and playfulness just in a different way or an edginess so I like that a lot about the way they do their collections. The Octavia booties, personally, I think these are horrible. Um, I'll be honest, they're just not my style. Closed toe, kind of gladiator, but only to the ankle. No, no, no. Extra small kind of belt bag, crossbody bag. That's cute. Got the Belgravius in black, the Pierre repeat toes. Um, Oh, a flask. This is pretty. This kind of rainbow hip flask for £100. That's nice. Their price points are really reasonable, I have to say. Oh, this is very much the um, Versace Bratz doll type of vibe. The Serena. So you've got these in black. You've got them in purple. Um, not my personal favourite when it comes to a shoe style. It's just not for me. However, I guess from a comfort perspective, they might be, they might be a little bit better than, for example, the... Um, platforms that we discussed earlier. Um, I can imagine they're quite heavy though. I've heard that the Versace's are very heavy, so I can imagine these will be the same. Crossbodies, crossbodies, boots. Well, those are interesting. Gin stud men's, so some kind of studded boots. Leopard print studs, crystallization, rainbow. That seems to be, that seems to be the vibe, um, but in a slightly different way. So very colorful, very playful. Will I be looking at buying any of those pieces? I would look at the um, Bond stilettos. I would look at the new kind of men's collection. It's not, it, fashion doesn't have a gender. I wish they would just. I heard something, I was watching um, Making the Cut yesterday um, and someone said, I don't make a women's collection or a men's collection. I don't make a women collection, a men collection, I make a them collection. And I love that. I thought a them collection, that's really nice. So yes, that's what I think that the kind of Black Weekender and the crossbody etc would fall into. I'll go and look at that Weekender. Do I think I would end up walking away with it? Maybe not. I can imagine if I was going to pay £380 for that, I'd probably buy the Macro Double XL Flap. Um, just because it's a little bit more me and I think I would use it more, but I want to go and have a look at it. Um, if you are interested in the TFL collection, then the SLGs, so the card holders, I would say are a, are a really good buy there, or the shopper, really like that shopper. Other than that, I'm not massively enamoured by anything, if I'm honest. Um, the platforms are nice, um, but not massively enamoured by anything. Um, actually, actually those blue um, platforms with the with the faux fur on them or the pink platforms with the faux fur. I would go and look at those because I like a platform shoe, but I don't get along with mules. I just struggle to keep them on my feet and I find that you end up clinching right at the end and that's not what I want to do. But they are beautiful. I like them very much. So those might be worth looking at if that's your style. 
Anyway, thank you so much as always for watching. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what's new at Kurt Geiger and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care everyone. Bye now.